Welcome to solving Advent of Kotl Puzzle Adventures in Kotlin Day 2. Where is Day 1? If you don't know, then you know what you should do, right? In Day 2 puzzle we should control submarine. We should control it with one of three commands. Forward, down and up. Forward increases horizontal position of our submarine, down increases uh, vertical position and up decreases vertical position of our submarine. Here we have small example of commands, like forward 5 and down 5 and forward 8 and up 3 and down 8. And as the result, we should get output of 150 and we should get this output by multiplying horizontal position and depth. Let's copy our example to source file inside our project like this. What do I use for our project? For our project I use Advent of Kot Kotlin template from Kotlin hands-on GitHub repository. You will find the link in description to this video. Let's view at how this project is st structured. The most interesting part is src directory inside which we will store all our Kotlin files and all our test and real input data. We will name files like day01 underscore test.txt for test data and day1.txt for real input data and day1.kt obviously for our solution. And today of course it will be not day1 but day2. Almost everything in our solution will be held inside a single main function. This way it will be easier to call our solution without any additional hassle. Also we, we will put solution of each part of our puzzle into function called part1 and part2 respectively. We can read our input with utility function read input which will return a list of strings. Each line will be a separate string and then we will print solution for each part. We actually can check if our solution works correct with help of Kotlin built-in check function. We can call our part1 function with test input and check if it outputs correct results. Otherwise, it will throw an exception. Let's get back to our project. Let's open day2 solution. Here I already have something. I already have part 1 solution. It's empty. I have to do inside it. The same for part 2. Also, I am reading test input from day 2 test and checking if it's 150 as it was in our example on Advent of Code side. Now let's, it's time to write our solution. We begin with creation of variable depth and another variable horizontal position and initializing them to zero because our submarine by default stands at zero position on both axes. Now we should iterate over each line and split it by space and we will put result of this iteration into variable. Inside map we have implicit variable called it which refers to each specific line. Now we call split on the string and we, we are splitting on space. What we should do next? Next thing we should do is iterate over each operation itself, like direction, it may be up, forward or down, and then we'll change horizontal position or depth accordingly. Here you can see that we can use destructuring declaration to get first and second elements of each list inside our operations. First element refers to direction and second element refers to amount. But amount is string and we should operate on integers, right? Because depth and horizontal position are integers. So let's convert our string to int and call new variable amount. Now we will use when expression to define what we should do for each existing direction. If the direction is up, 
we should decrease depth by amount. If the direction is down, we should increase depth by amount. And if direction is forward, we should increase horizontal position by amount specified. The last thing we should do is to return horizontal position multiplied by depth. Now let's test if our thing works correctly. As we know, if test doesn't fail, then it doesn't work. So let's try to fail our test first. It definitely should not be minus one. So let's check if we will get our desired ex exception. Yeah, we got it. Check failed. So let's try to fix our test now and launch our application again. At least we don't have exception, but we have zero as output. Why is that? It's because we didn't provide our application with any real input. Let's copy paste my input to day2.txt and launch application again. The answer is 2032956. Let's check it. Looks like it's correct. And let's move on to the next part. In the second part, surprisingly, we find that we understood its instructions incorrectly. There is one more variable called aim, and commons do different things actually. Down increases your aim by x units, up decreases your aim by x units, and forward does two things. It increases your horizontal position by x units, and it increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. And as the result of the same test input, we should get 900. Let's check if it works. But first, of course, we should implement new logics. First thing I will do is I will check if part two called with test input as input will give us 900. Let's try running our application right now. Of course, we, we are getting an exception not implemented because our part two is not implemented. It's the best time to implement it. First thing I will do, I will copy my existing solution to, to part, of part one to part two. And I will change it a bit. I will add one more variable called aim as we were instructed, and I will assign it to zero. We will handle the input the same way. We will still create operations variable, but now we should redefine what up, down, and forward do. Up is now aim decreased by amount. Down is aim increased by amount. And forward does two things. First thing is it increases horizontal position by amount. And second thing, it increases depth by amount multiply by aim. Let's launch our application. And we've got error. Thing is, I have, I made a mistake. I have not increased depth by amount multiplied by aim. I have assigned depth to aim multiplied by amount, and I should increase it. Let's change it and launch application again. Now there are no exception, and we can try to print result of our second task with real input. Here is the result. Let's check if it's correct. Yeah, it looks correct. But there is a one thing I don't like about current solution. I would like to have some object in my, objects in my solution and not to work with lists. So I will create a small data class called operation, because our list of its operations, which will contain only two fields. First one is direction and it will be string, and second one will be amount, and it should be int. Now, we can call 
map on our operations again to convert a list of strings to date to operation class. And we are prov we're providing its constructor with the first element of our list unchanged and second element of our list converted to int. Now we can remove obsolete variable called amount and rename our amount string to amount. That's all. Let's launch our task again. Result is the same. And that's all. While we are here, I wanted to say that JetBrains makes an awesome giveaway for those who participate in Advent of Code and solves it in Kotlin. You can see rules of participation in our giveaway on your screens and in description, of course. Thank you and see you. Bye-bye.